You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr. I'm the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com, and tonight I have another special interview for each and every one of you. Tonight I have a wonderful person on the call, and she's a great friend of mine. Her name is Sharon Lecter. And for those that don't know Sharon, let me explain to each and every one of you about this incredible woman. Sharon Lecter is a lifelong education advocate. Sharon Lecter is the founder of Pay Your Family First, a financial education organization and youthpreneur, an innovative new way to spark the entrepreneurial spirit in our children. Sharon is known worldwide as the co-author of the international best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and the Rich Dad series of books. During her 10 years with Rich Dad Company, it grew into an international powerhouse brand with over 20 books, board games, websites, CDs, audio cassettes, seminars. Rich Dad, Poor Dad has been on the New York Times bestsellers list for over six and a half years and is available in over 50 languages and sold in more than 108 countries worldwide. More than 27 million Rich Dad books have been sold around the world. Sharon has also authored Think and Grow Rich, Three Freak from Gold, in cooperation with the Napoleon Hill Foundation and Greg Reed, which was released in October 2009 and quickly became a national bestseller. Future projects with the Napoleon Hill Foundation include Think and Grow Rich, titles for women and children. Sharon Lecter is also the creator of a other powerful book that's going to be released June the 7th, Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success, and that is an awesome resume. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome the one, the only, the beautiful Sharon Lecter to the call. Well, thank you, Arthur. I am delighted to be on the call with you, and I thank you so much for that lovely introduction. I'm well, excited to be with you. Well, I'd like to thank you, Sharon, for taking time out of your busy schedule to educate me and the listeners worldwide about your powerful book, Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success, and about financial literacy. I gladly appreciate it. Well, it's my pleasure and honor and absolutely excited about this new book called Outwitting the Devil because um, it is the it was written by Napoleon Hill back in 1938. So for many of your listeners, they're well aware of the book Think and Grow Rich, which has had over 70 million sold around the world. And that book was released in 1937. And Napoleon Hill sat down the very next year in 1938 and wrote Outwitting the Devil. But it was hidden for over 72 years. And it was intended to be the sequel because, as you may know, Think and Grow Rich outlines the 13 steps to create success in your life. And Hill said, now, people, even once they know it, whether they read the books or whether they go to seminars, they still don't become successful. And why is that? So Outwitting the Devil talks about even though you may know what you need to do, why don't you do it? What keeps you back? What are the obstacles in your way that prevent you from attaining the success that you so richly deserve? And Outwitting the Devil is that thesis, and it's a fabulous, profound, and provocative work that truly can help people break through the barriers and create the success they want. Hmm. And Napoleon Hill legacy still lives on. And Think and Grow Rich is a powerful book. To anyone that's on this call, I highly recommend if you haven't invested in that book, go invest in Think and Grow Rich and invest in Sharon Lecter's new powerful book called Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success. To anyone that's on this call, I highly recommend go and get your pen and your pad right now and write down these powerful notes that Sharon Lecter is going to express to each and every one of you. We're going to cover a lot of topics on tonight's call in regards to a new powerful book, uh, Winning the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success, and also about financial literacy, and also about teaching your kids how they can take what they know and turn into dough in regards to taking their hobbies and their talents and turn them into phenomenal businesses. 
Now, Sharon, I'd like to know, and can you educate the listeners worldwide in regards to who is the beautiful Sharon Lecter? How long have you been in your powerful industry, and what is your expertise? And can you break down in layman's terms what inspired you to write your new powerful book that's going to be released on June the 7th, Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success? Well, thank you, Arthur. My my story... Um is very very simple. I started. I li- grew up, and my father was in the Navy, and we he retired when I was nine. Our family was very lower middle class, but my parents were very entrepreneurial. My dad had a car lot. He had a um, real estate. He had um, real estate rental properties. He had orange groves, and he worked from morning till night, seven days a week. My mother owned her own beauty shop, and we. So I lived, grew up in that environment. And their their dream was that their daughter would that we would get college education. So when I graduated from college, it was a realization of their dream. I started my career in accounting way back when. I'm a very old broad. Back in the time when I was the only the fifth woman ever hired by Coopers and Librand in the southeastern United States. And so when I started working there, I, I, I was fulfilling that dream of that great job, that great career path, and it was incredibly um, inspirational, wonderful learning ground. But I was about 626, and I decided, you know, at 26, we all think we know everything. So that's when I started my own companies, and I started building companies. And then I got married, and we're celebrating 31 years of marriage this year. But I was able to start using my professional career uh, to follow my passions as a parent. I've been very fortunate with that all my life. And when my um, my kids were little, they didn't like to read. So I helped start the talking book industry, the books that have the sound strips down the side. We started that industry back in the late 80s. So I've been in publishing for a very long time. But then it was in 1992 when my oldest son went off to college and got into credit card debt that I really dedicated my life to financial literacy and financial education and it took him seven years to get out of credit card debt he had a really good time at that first semester and he came home and asked us to bail him out and we said no we won't bail you out and so it took him seven years working extra jobs to get out of debt and to um, get his credit um, score repaired and I'm proud to say that Philip Lecter now works side by side with me with pay your family first the name of our company in creating products and tools to help families young people entrepreneurs create the, f- the financial future that they so richly deserve. And so it was a way that, that was in 1992. I met Robert Kiyosaki in 96. We re- released Rich Dad Poor Dad in 97. We had a 10-year partnership with 15 books and lots of tapes and games. 2007, um, our missions were not quite aligned anymore, so I left the company. He wanted to do franchising, and that was when I formed Pay Your Family First, and I got the call from President Bush asking me to be on the very first President's Advisory Council on Financial Literacy. I serve both Bush and Obama. That commission ended last January, and I now have to say I've come full circle back to my profession as a CPA because the AICPA, which is the American Institute to certify public accountants um, called and asked me to be on their financial literacy commission. So I represent my profession nationwide as an advocate for that financial literacy. But along the way, after I left Rich Dad, I got the call from the Napoleon Hill Foundation. They said, Sharon, we want your help in bringing this wisdom of Napoleon Hill back to the forefront, back to where people can use it today. Just as Think and Grow Rich came out during the Great Depression and many people create created great success and and attribute their success today to having read Think and Grow Rich. With our current economic issues, it was so important to bring those messages back to the forefront. Mm. Oh, excuse me. And so we did Three Feet from Goal, which came out two years ago. And then they came to me and they said, we have this manuscript that Napoleon Hill wrote in 1938 called Outwitting the Devil. And his wife was so afraid that it was too provocative, Mm. too controversial for the time, that she wouldn't allow.